everyone. This is Cat. Um, I think that suffering is essential for spiritual growth. Some people might be asking me, how could suffering be good? Suffering seems bad. It hurts. Yeah, it does. I agree. But that doesn't mean suffering in itself is inherently evil or bad. And I've seen it around the Mandela Effect community. Like the New Ages would be saying we could cre all create our own reality. And that if you're in any pain, it's all, it's all your fault. But that's not necessarily true. Do you really think that Job could get out of his painful situation by creating his own reality or do you think God allowed painful to that painful situation for a very particular reason some of you might be asking how could pain be a good thing if we could just create our own reality and escape all forms of pain wouldn't that be good the answer is not at all when we go through painful and tough situations we tend to learn a lot Depression is actually there so we can grow spiritually. I know this might sound crazy to a bunch of spiritualists out there, but it's true. And I'm not going to keep, I'm not going to listen to all the fluff about spirituality when my experience just leads me to another conclusion. Spirituality needs some sort of substance to it, behind it, and if we're all just trying to use it to escape pain, we're not using it the correct way. Without pain, we don't learn or grow in any way, shape, or form. If you believe that you can create your own reality to escape the pain of it all, you need to reassess your analysis. Pain is not purely evil, it's not purely bad, and it's not something that we should try to go out of our way to avoid. Depression only sits there if there is no spiritual growth at all, and we don't learn for what the thing that we were supposed to learn. So, instead of trying to use spirituality as an escape route from all of this, from all the pain of life, and instead of going out and taking pills in order to try to escape this pain, try to learn the lesson that life is throwing at you. And then, and only then, will the pain start to ebb away and cease. Maybe the lesson is that you need to trust God a bit more with everything. Maybe the lesson is that you can't always do something about a situation that you're in. Every ounce of pain comes with a lesson that you're supposed to learn from and grow from. And God is a loving father. Do loving fathers always come to the aid of their children when their children are hurting? No, they don't. The reason for that is so that the children can mature, grow, and learn. Would it really be genuine parental love if God came against every single problem that we have? Or are we supposed to actually learn things from our issues? In reality, if we never suffer at all, we'll never grow spiritually at all. So all of those spiritualists who are insisting that we should all just be happy all the time, think about positive things all the time, and just create our own reality so that we'll never have to suffer. They're not going to grow spiritually from that. You can only grow spiritually through painful situations and painful scenarios. Pain has its own purposes. There's a reason why Job went through many of the things that he went through after God blessed him so much. It's the same with us. God will sometimes bless us for a time and then he'll allow us to go through all sorts of painful situations for a time. There's a time for everything, including feeling pain. The idea that we create our own reality is just nonsense. It's nonsense from Satan himself. Or should I call him Godrael, as he's referenced in the Book of Enoch to be? For the record, 
The purpose of the Mandela Effect is not ascension. If it were ascension, would it really make all the people who are unaffected stupider like it has? Surely, if it were ascension, it would be something else entirely than what we're seeing. We're seeing hearts grow cold, yet ascension implies everybody becoming more loving and caring. I don't know. It just seems more like everything is playing out the way the Bible said it would. Um, instead of... I think Ascension Theory is bunk. Let's be real honest. No, the purpose of the Mandela Effect is not so we can ascend to higher consciousness and create our own reality. It's actually to get us away from the world and its ways. If you can hear God calling us all out of the world, congratulations. If you're affected and you still don't hear his voice, um, you're not really much better than anyone who's unaffected. Actually, let's face it, none of us are better than the unaffected. Um, but getting to know God personally will leave you better off than someone who doesn't personally know God for themselves. And yes, there might be a whole lot of pain involved in the purification process that God is putting us all through. But this purification process, will painful in the moment, will actually only benefit us in the long run. You can't have sparkling diamonds without them going through the fire first. That is the true reason why all of us suffer. At the end of it, God wants us to shine like diamonds. And we can't do that if we don't learn and grow through all the pain that gets tossed at us. I'll see everybody in the next video.